Hello dear students welcome back uh, today we are going to discussing our first poem my mother at 66 written by kamla das yes kamla das name was kamla suraya popularly known by one time you know popularly known by her one time pen name madhavi kutti and her married name was or is kamla das Kamla Das so was a great English poet of her time and a leading Malayalam author from Kerala as far as concern about this poem it is really very touching poem okay and this poem has been written by Kamla Das under the pen name Madhavi Kutte In this poem she described her feeling of love and attachment to her toward her aging mother. This is really very touching poem in which she show her feeling toward and the love toward her aging mother and she has grown old. And she feel the kind of ache in the pain and the fear. Let's try to find out what is there. once the poet went to visit her parents and uh, after then she was visiting and she was returning to her uh, uh, own house let's start the driving from my parents home to the cochin airport friday morning last friday morning while i was driving to the cochin airport and my mother was along with me to see me off she accompany with me wo mere sath hai where to the cochin airport where i have to take the flight jahan se mujhe flight leni thi as she was sitting beside me i saw her i looked her and she was you know she was dozing she was feeling drowsy and uh, with mouth open although she has she had uh, you know closed her eyes and her mouth was opened and it appears okay her face like ashen like that of corpse it appears like that of a dead body her face was looking like that of a dead body and that face lag raha tha and so and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked she realized that so much it was so much painful to her to see her mother like in like that condition us conditions mein mummy ko dekhna ya maa ko dekhna ya feel karna that was so you know difficult to her she thought that her mother who is appearing so old is actually so old so putting that thought away very soon okay she put that thought away usna vichar dur rakhti hai ya phir to putting that thought away she try to look out of the car to those sprinting young trees and the merry children spiling out of their house young trees sprinting sprinting here means the running trees the small chote chote jo ped hai wo daudte hue pedo ko dekhti hai just to put that painful thought away wo jo painful thought tha uske dimag mein apne about her mother just to putting that thought away she try to look out of the car to sprinting all those are the sprinting actually this was uh, not the tree actually jo daud rahe the this was the car that was running wo daudti hui car thi but it appears like that they are uh, you know running and at the same time she looked the merry children spiling out of their home the spiling is coming out of their home emerging out of their home bahar nikal rahe the apne gharon se you know this is just the comparison here with old age old age ke sath kitni children's ka age aur jo merry making jo stage hoti hai this is in the childhood and the age of childhood is carefree and you can live your life freely but here in the in the in the, the last phase of life as like a यहां ओल्ड एज की जो बात कर रहे थे हम कि वो कैसे हो जाती है है ना डल मॉनटनस लाइफ होती है यहाँ पे द सेम हेयर शी हैज मेड बिट कंपैरिजन विद द स्पाइलिंग यहाँ बच्चों के साथ मेरी मेकिंग चिल्ड्रन के साथ कि हाउ वी कैन लिव दिस दिस लाइफ एंड हाउ एंड कैसे हम और इन विच सिचुएशन एंड कंडीशन वी आर टूडे राइट सो आफ्टर बट आफ्टर द एयरपोर्ट सिक्योरिटी चेक आफ्टर द uh and going through the security check 
she stood at the distance of one, uh, three feet there at the airport and looked her mother again and which was appear like that of a vain white the pale and feeble face and her face was like that of a winter's winter's late moon winter ke late moon ki bhanti wo appear ho rahi thi because winter is the last phase of year and the old age is the last phase of human life well, both were compared here dono ka yahan pe comparison kiya gaya hai ki bhi jaise human life ka ek last phase hota hai ye it appears dull weak pale white and the same way here the winter's late moon also is appear like that like that and having been seen that or having been realized that she feel that familiar ache of childhood and the fear and what is that fear this is the fear of separation this is the feeling of uh, you know ache of separations ek tarah ka wo separations ka and how my mother will live after me when i got married ki jab meri shaadi ho jayegi ya ho jati hai what will happen with my parents and my mother especially and uh, how i'll live without her and how my mother will live after, uh, without me this was the familiar egg that she used to feel in her childhood here wohi is waqt wo feel kar rahi hoti hai and uh, but all i said was author here said ki main wahan pe jo kuch bol sakti thi i i said only by goodbye see you soon it you know it shows that you are unable to describe your feeling toward your elders to your parents you can't say anything you just show uh, ki bhi theek hai aap feel karte hoge you know everyone hai ye hum 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 logo pe bhi ye cheeze apply hoti hai ki we can uh, we have the feeling of uh, uh, love and care and attachment to our parents and to our, our elders brother and sisters at all but we are unable to express our feeling to them the same is here that she couldn't say anything when they were uh, the driving to the coach and they not uh, you know unhone kuch bola nahi they didn't speak with each other she was just uh, feeling the pain of uh, uh, her growing age her aging mothers ke bare mein jo bhi wo soch rahi thi wo she was so uh, you know uh, dubidha mein thi she was in conflict what to say and what to do no doubt she feel the यू नो एक तरह का लव और अटैचमेंट जो था वो था बट शी वॉज अनेबल टू फी अनेबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट टू दैम उनको बताने में वो नहीं कर सकती थी बट ए सी यू सून अम्मा ये उसको शो करवाती कि भी चलो हम जल्दी ही मिलेंगे एंड देर वॉज देर वॉज सम होप ऑफ मीटिंग अगेन बट हेयर इन द लास्ट लाइन ऑल आई डिड वॉज स्माइल 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 एंड नथिंग एल्स What could do? What could you do? Be, you can't do anything. And she just smiled. It shows that uh, yes, sir, we have the feeling of love and attachment to anyone, elders, parents, but we can't express our feeling to them. That's it. That was your point. So we have some uh, the questions here. Ki what is the kind of pain and the ache that the poet feel? What is that? What is the point? Because the, she has realized. Because she has realized that uh, my mother has grown so old, and uh, anything can be happen. You know, any time. Because maybe, कुछ भी हो सकता है. So she was, and uh, having been realized that, the, she feel the same uh, the pain and the act that uh, used to in her childhood. That is the pain of separations. या मम्मी के अलग होने के या मम्मी के खत्म हो जाने के या मर जाने के ये सारा कुछ थॉट जब वो सोचती है तो वो बहुत ज्यादा उसके लिए कुछ हो जाता है वो वो दर्द महसूस करती है राइट द सो स्प्रिंटिंग ट्री स्प्रिंटिंग ट्री वो उस स्प्रिंटिंग ट्री का यहाँ जिक्र करती है बिकॉज शी वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट हर मदर हेयर एंड शी वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट हर ओल्ड एज एंड शी वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट हर सेपरेशन कि भी अगर कल देर सवेर कुछ मेरी माँ को हो जाता है एंड ऑल दैट सो पुटिंग दैट थॉट अवे शी सी आउटसाइड द स्प्रिंटिंग ट्री उन स्प्रिंटिंग ट्रीज ट्रीज को देखती है एंड दैट वाज कमिंग टू ऐसा लग रहा था वहां ट्री वाज कमिंग फास्ट टू वर्ल्ड हर ओके देवर इट सीम्स टू बी रनिंग फास्ट पर वो एक तरह के क्या थे वो दौड़ नहीं रहे थे एक्चुअली दिस वॉज अट वॉज रनिंग 
and now we have one more questions here pe the spiling out of the homes this is the comparison that i told you this is the comparison between this age iske sath yahan comparison kiya how a child who is carefree where we can live our life freely as we want but now in this old age we are depend on others dusro ke upar depend ho jate hain so this is something about uh, the spiling tree uh, humne yahan pe kiya hai ki childhood hamari first journey hoti hai और uh, हमारा जो ओल्ड एज है ये लास्ट जर्नी होती है वी आर वी आर डिपेंड ऑन अदर्स कि दूसरों के ऊपर हम डिपेंड uh, हो जाते हैं एंड दिस इज द जर्नी टू एंड राइट एंड विंटर टेल लेट विंटर्स मून लेट विंटर्स मून को यहाँ डिस्क्राइब किया गया बिकॉज वो था एज विंटर इज द लास्ट फेज ऑफ सीजन इन अयर एंड द सेम वे इन आर लाइफ ओल्ड एज इज द लास्ट फेज ऑफ आर लाइफ दे आप यूर लाइक दोनों एक जैसे लगते हैं डिम डल वाइट से है ना पीलापन छाया होता है नीरसपन हमारे चेहरे के ऊपर और उस मून के ऊपर भी द सेम वे दे हैज बीन कंपेयर ओके दैट इज दैट वाज समथिंग अबाउट दिस पॉइंट आई होप यू विल एंजॉय एंड यू विल गेट बेस्ट आउट ऑफ इट थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस्ट